This is Inspired 2016. We would like to give you a free tarot card reading focusing on your love life and your relationship. This tarot card reading will give you an update of your love life, including your past, your presence, and your future uh, relationship card uh, reading. So the way we laid out the card, we will draw four cards for you. So the first card will represent your past love life and the second card will represent your present conditions of your love life and then the third card will represent your future position of your love life and the last card will represent as a guidance card that represent the direction of your love life will be headed into for the next future. So I hope that you enjoy the reading and if you like the reading just click like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you. Hello Cancer. This is Inspire 2016 with your weekly love and relationship reading for the week commencing the 6th of February until the 12th of February 2017. The first card for you is representing the past position of your love life. Your card is the Ten of Swords. This card symbolizes a sudden and unexpected failure or disaster in terms of your love and general relationship. Sometimes you will be able to alter the course of this sudden breakup but most of the time you will simply have to let go and take the hit. This card can also indicate a time when you have been backstabbed or betrayed by someone you thought you could trust. You feel incredibly hurt and shocked by such a betrayal. As such, the Ten of Swords is often associated with feeling the victim in a situation. You may feel powerless as something comes to a crashing and sudden end, and you feel as if you are being attacked or backstabbed by someone else. You crave pity from others with a small sigh of, poor me. You may even use this challenging time to portray yourself as a martyr, to show that you have put your interests last but have suffered as a result. The Ten of Swords also indicates a difficult experience of endings, loss, pain or release. However, the saving grace is that you have a new awareness and a positive sense of relief that the difficulty and pain will soon be over and will evolve into something new. As with all endings there will be a new beginning, a rebirth, and a rejuvenation of the spirit. So, while this card may seem negative at first glance, it is a card of help and an indication that your troubles will not be permanent. Furthermore, this is the final ordeal, and no more pain will come to you from that source. It is darkest before the dawn, and as gloomy as it looks, the sun will rise again. It can only get better from here. The Ten of Swords is about letting go and accepting your current circumstances. You no longer resist change but allow it to happen, even if it causes some initial pain and hurt to you. You accept that there must be change in order to facilitate renewal, and you allow it to occur rather than fighting it. When this card appears after a painful situation, it is a signal to pick yourself up off the ground and to reflect upon what happened to you and why, and what you can learn from the experience. Hidden deep beneath the surface of the Ten of Swords is the ultimate power of the sword suit, the ability to analyze the situation and your responses, and learn from yourself. True wisdom does not come from without but from within. 
The Ten of Swords is a sign that the pain and hurt you have endured has not gone without purpose. The positive power within you can be used to learn from your pain and draw wisdom from defeat. It is worth noting that the Ten of Swords is very similar to the death card of the Major Arcana. It is not a literal indication of actual death but is instead evidence of an impending change or ending which may initially be difficult to accept. The second card for you is representing, your present love life. Your card is, the Ace of Wands. You begin to realize that you might have some hobbies that can turn into a new source of income, especially, something that you are passionate about. This highly action-oriented card sees you feeling incredibly inspired and enthusiastic about pursuing a new idea or project that you have in mind. You are all revved up and raring to go. Use your creative energy and passion to take the first steps and get this project underway. Even if you like to have everything planned out before you begin down a certain path, the Ace of Wands is encouraging you to listen to your instincts and follow your gut. If it feels like a good idea, it probably is. So, start with a few basic actions to get things underway, and then continue to grow and develop your ideas through more complex actions later on. The important thing is that you act now, rather than spending more time planning or researching. The Ace of Wands is also indicative of a time in your life where you have a breakthrough moment and feel very inspired and motivated about a particular idea or passion. Your eyes have been opened to a whole new world and you are now very excited about the possibilities and the opportunities that are available to you. You are showing huge potential at this time and are driven by a strong, creative force. It is as if there is a latent talent within that is just bursting to get out and be fully utilized. This is also a perfect time to draw upon your imagination and to make your dreams reality. Something to keep in mind with the Ace of Wands, and any Ace for that matter, is that it is but a seed that is yet to grow into something more solid or sustainable. You are being offered an opportunity here that shows great promise but it will be up to you to make the most of it and to maximize the potential for the longer term. It is almost like the spark that is needed to fuel a huge fire but you must work hard to build the fire up as the spark itself is not enough to make such a large fire. The energy of the Ace of Wands can also signify a restlessness or uncertainty as to how to proceed. You may have energy and passion but not yet have a clear outlet for its expression. All of these wonderful ideas are beginning to build up from within and you are just bursting with energy but now you must find a way to effectively express this energy in a way that will set you up in the longer term. The third card for you is representing, the future of your love life. Your card is, the Seven of Pentacles. You have a strong desire to invest in those things that will provide long-term benefit. You understand the value of putting in time and energy now for longer-term rewards, and you are not necessarily looking for quick wins as such. You also want to make sure that you are focusing your attention on the right areas that will give you the biggest bang for your buck, instead of wasting time on areas that will not deliver any value. You have a long-term view and you are focused on sustainability of results. Similarly, if you are planning for the future, the Seven of Pentacles shows that you are taking a long-term view and you are assessing where you can best invest your time and energy for the maximum output. You do not want to keep putting your heart and soul into something if you are not getting the rewards for it, and no doubt, you have started to see that there are some areas in your life that are just become energy sappers but without the reward. The Seven of Pentacles indicates that if you have been working extra hard or putting in extra effort into something, it will finally pay off. Your effort will definitely be worth it and you will see the results and rewards for your labor. You may have been working on something quite challenging and important for the last few months 
and this is likely to come to a culmination. You are likely to see financial or other tangible rewards for all of your hard work. Sometimes, however, the Seven of Pentacles can denote frustration. You have been laboring away at something important and you may be starting to feel concerned that you will never be rewarded for your efforts. Be patient and appreciate the progress you have made so far. If your hard work has not yet paid off as planned, remember that your expectations may be unreasonable. There are no guarantees. Be grateful, focus on the present and do what you can with what you have. You are now experiencing the rewards of hard work and effort. However, the question at hand is whether the rewards of hard work are in fact worth the effort to acquire them. It is often at the time of greatest success that you realize what you desired so much is in fact somewhat disappointing and perhaps not worth all of the effort. The last card for you is Guidance for your love life. The Guidance card for you is. You deserve love. You are lovable. The Romance Angels are cheering you on in your quest for great love by letting you know that you deserve it. As a child of God, you're naturally a loving and lovable person, as is everyone. You have the right to be treated with kindness and respect by everyone in your life. If you've had harsh life experiences, you may have blamed yourself and felt unworthy of receiving affection. This card is a reassurance that you do deserve it. You're a beautiful being of God's pure love and light, no matter what any person has said or done to you, and no matter what happened in the past. God's handiwork can never be undone. The more you affirm, I am a lovable. I am loved. I am loving, the more this experience comes true for you. Affirmations help you believe spiritual truths at a deep, unconscious level. This, in turn, allows you to attract loving people, relationships, and circumstances. And you definitely deserve that. I hope that you enjoy everything and if you like the reading just please click subscribe and you will get the instant notifications every time we publish a new video right to your uh, YouTube. Thanks.